There you are. Your boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just he's some slick little greasy-haired European clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh? Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So... You walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath, and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> that is the very steel woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Uh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, why you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> Salute. Salute.
Cemetery right with me now. Where are you? Get over here. So you was just talking about something? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaites were going to hold Jack Branson. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Bronte knows by now huh? there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much used to him anymore. Well, let's just get this done and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. This way. All right. Let's see what's going on in here. Sorry, sir. I had a bit to drink. be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robbing grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, the law 
us here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. Lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. So let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we'll just see where we're at once we got Jack. your time where's your host ah! like i said you took your time ah! i'm glad to see you let's get going what a fine man hey friend uh, thank you mr bronte you all for right? everything yeah i'm fine come on you know arthur mr bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house <laughs> and us just simple country boys Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box and lots of books did they do anything to you have you ever had spaghetti what what's that it's food it looks like worms but it's delicious is that right papa bronte teach me lots of italian words don't call him that please you know cavallo that means horse and pantafola that's a slipper a slipper they gave me two pairs, one for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then. Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. 
You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least that's the way he sees it. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so. Well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Come on, come on in! <laughs> He's back, all right. <laughs> hey, make some room for John there. Come on, are we celebrating? What? <laughs> Hey, how about a song, huh? Oh, yeah. Javier, <laughs> play us away. Woo! Un par de ojitos negros, el cielito lindo de contrabando. De la sierra morena, cielito lindo, vienen bajando. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Loitering suspiciously as usual. I, I'm just trying to give you all your moment. Wow, well, very kind. Okay, I'll catch you later then. You take care now, Arthur. You okay, Sadie? Sure. You boys did good. Well, we got lucky this time. Welcome back, Jack. Lágrimas vine llorando y con la flor del trompillo. Come on, we did it. Yes, we did. Thank God. Well done, John. 
couldn't have done it without Dutch and Arthur. The old guard. Be good? We all are. Yeah. Thank God it worked out. Welcome back, Jack. Thanks, Uncle Jose. Well, I'll let you find folks get reacquainted. Donde colgaba mi espada, estancó laberinto. Si Tahiti, dear boy. Tahiti. If you say so. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Hey, Arthur, have a little faith. Oh, I think so. Tell us again. Sure. So I got caught doing something or other. I was just a kid, 17, 18, long before I met Dutch. I was newly an orphan. Anyway, I got caught by some hill country sheriff stealing a chicken, I think it was, and he decided I was going to be hanged for it. For a chicken? Yes. Only some folks thought it was unfair. <laughs> and at the hanging, there was a riot. They went to lynch me. Uh, but uh, someone I never saw, he shot the rope. Clean through. Instead, they hanged the sheriff. <gasps> and I got away with nothing more than a sore neck. <laughs> well, was you scared? <laughs> Absolutely petrified. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Come on. Let's leave him to play a minute. Oh, 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 welcome home, home, little Jack. Lay down and lay in the lane. My, my master used to be my name. My, my mistress is the same. Till early one morning, and a sailor boy came ashore. And he's the one that turned me into a dirty little whore. Pearson! He asked me for it. Okay there, Jack. You're not joining in? Not really in the mood. Okay. Out of here plays good, don't it? He sure does. Well, let's have a good night. We deserve one. You're in a good mood. You ain't joining the party, Reverend? I don't want to ruin it. I'm Nobody feeling sorry for again. yourself, I swear. So, I was thinking. Maybe it would be a little easier for me to keep an eye on him if we all stayed together. You know, in my room. You mean like a normal family? Look around you. Ain't nothing normal about any of this. Take this fella for one. A man don't just change like the wind, Abigail. I thought you'd have known that by now. No, Arthur. Some folks change, and others are just too dumb.
My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I am not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary. Mr. Morgan. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but uh, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan. Will you help me finalize our business here? <coughs> this is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for kettle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algy Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And? That's it. We are a union built on that, you know. Yeah. Okay. My God, what did I drink last night? Hello there. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well... Life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that married girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. 
A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. All right, head for Rhodes, and quick. She's in Rhodes? No, she's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No, she spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. Now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You especially. Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. Yeah. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Whoa. What you want? Time, sir. We're lost and in need of some help. Oh, get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours. And I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by I it. I said. You said your last word. Well, what are you? Get in there and find our girl! Shit! What the hell you think you're doing? It's okay, mm. Miss Tilly. Now, let's mm. get you out of here. I thought there was... I... Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard. <sighs> so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. I'll take you. Let's go for a ride. 
Come on now. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an E? I want the Undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. Shut the hell up. Go to hell, funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh, this rope is... Punch you, pal. Oh, shit. This rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? All right. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this monster. So he's still alive then? Ah. I guess. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Finish the bastard. Oh, yeah. Come on. Let's get you home. Now get out of here. What are you doing? Nothing. I don't believe you. It's just a little robbery, all right? Nothing serious. Good. What are you robbing? A stage. There's a stage coming through. According to the fella I met, it'll have a bunch of money aboard and no security whatsoever as it comes up the river trail between here and Catfish Jackson. Okay. Yeah, sounds worth investigating. You and, uh, who? I don't know. I, I thought I'd do it on my own. It'll be unprotected. Won't be a huge take, but I should make out okay. There ain't no such thing as unprotected. Now, who you want to go with? I guess you. Now? I don't need no... Hand holding off of. Oh, come on, kid. <laughs> but if we decide to do it once we've had the look, I'm taking half the money. All right, let's get going then. It should be on its way right now. It seems like only yesterday you and me was shooting our way in here to rob those fools. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'll be glad to leave this place behind if I'm honest. Got a bad feel to it. At least it's got a roof. You ain't got a roof. Boy, if I'm outside with the junior. Oh, you ain't even 20 years old. Your time will come. Hey. 
Follow me. I saw a good spot for an ambush. So who's the feller told you about this? It's a sound lead. I told you. And what did he have to gain by giving you this information? You mean, did I give him money or a gun? You're just gonna have to trust me on this one, Arthur. Okay. Okay, I do. You've more than proved yourself the past six months. Don't forget, I was on the run for murder before falling in with you boys. For three years. It ain't like I'm new to any of this. Uh, those fellers who killed your pa? Yep. And I'd do it again right now. Of course. Go! Okay, here we are. Let's leave the horses off the road to the right here. I figured we'd take up position behind these rocks. Yeah, seems good. The stage should be... Coming up the river from Catfish Jackson any time now. There it is. And I don't see no escorts, neither. <laughs> this should be a cakewalk. Are you sure about that? You see any? As soon as they're close enough, we'll jump out, hit them fast. Just wait for my lead, okay? I said wait for my lead. This is a robbery. Drop your weapons and put your hands in the air. I said drop the weapons. Anyone else? Anyone inside there? Answer me! Last chance. Come out, or we're coming in. Shit! You are Are you? Evidently. That was not the way I was expecting things to go. You took us into a trap. Look, I'm telling you, it was good information. Wait. Look. Look, there's some money here. Not much. Yeah, it ain't much, because it was a trap. Stage companies do this all the time. They set up traps oh. to catch fools. Shit. Like you and me. I feel like a fool. Well, that's good, because you are a fool. He's still alive, so don't worry too much about it. Come on, get out of here before any more turn up. All right. See you back at camp.
I have a damn good reason for being on my property, mister. You remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Oh, I should have known. You goddamn bludgeon men are all the same. Sure, sure, I got your money. Every stinking cent. It's in the house. Hell, I'll even offer you a drink. We can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. I got a powerful thirst on me right now. How about you? Well, you gotta be stinking drunk already to do this kind of work. Uh, I like doing it sober. If you take my money, surely you take a drink off me as well. That would be the manly thing to do. Let's just uh, handle the money first. Worry about manners later, okay? I could be fishing. You were catching flies, you weren't catching fish. Now come on, let's get us that death. Someone's here, boy. Oh, wait, what's going on? Don't just stand there, go fix us a drink. Another one, Pop? Don't give me no talk, boy, just do it. I'll look down here for our savings. Savings? Under the sink? Best place for them. Now, where's them drinks, boy? Drinks ready. It's right there, miss. It's our life savings. Come and take what you owe. Ah! I'll cut your damn head. Clean up. Still <laughs> think you're tough? Son, I want to get out of here, but I can't until I find some money. There's some in my footlocker. I I've been keeping it away from them. Ain't that lucky. I think I know the sum, and that should cover it. Ain't you the good son? You should be proud of yourself. It's me. I ain't even gonna ask where you've been.
sure, old man. Nah, enough of that old man nonsense. I'm in the prime of my life. Oh, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> How you getting on? Bored. You see that swamp, Arthur? That's God's own pantry. What are we eating? Venison? Come on, let's go gather some crawfish. See what else we can get. Crawfish? Yeah, crawfish. Finest eating there is. It's not just crawfish. No. There's monsters out there that'll eat a feller for fun. Oh, Arthur, I thought you were a man. No, sir. <laughs> when it comes to prehistoric monsters, I am very much a coward. <laughs> Whew. Head for those trees across from us, and we'll take a look. I'm a starboard, sir. The what? My left, your right. This is a boat, Arthur. Okay. Whatever you say. Okay, go slow so I can see. My eyes aren't what they used to be. No, no, ground is too high here. Keep following the shoreline. What exactly are we looking for? We're looking for low ground and a lot of muck. Pull us in over there. Fish in these waters. Stop your whining, please. This is the place. Beneath now you. tell me, Arthur, have you ever birthed a cow? No. Right, it's nothing like that, but it's equally as gruesome if you're squeamish. You're really selling this, aren't you? Now, do you see this hole? Yep. Well, it's sort of like a natural trap. Just want to stick your hand in. Watch. And there! <laughs> there, you see? Good. Well, seems easy enough. Uh-huh. Let's go find another hole. So, how long were you in the Navy? Oh, years. Well, it must have been a year, at least. Or close to that. That's quite a rain. All water under the bridge now. No pun intended. Oh, look there. Another crayfish hole. You see it? You try this time, Arthur. Now remember to reach down deep and get right in there. They like to dig in, the little blighters. Best not to think about it too much. Now I got something. Nicely done. Why don't you see if there's any more down there? There we go. Go on. What did I tell you? One more scruff down there. Okay, can't come hurt. on. Let's try another hole. Won't be much of a gumbo if we don't find some more. Get down. Get down. Talking of other creatures. There. Those gators? Yeah. Three. And they're female. Must be guarding nests. So... Gator eggs. Really valuable. Even better eating. I'd love cooking with them. Okay. Tell you what. I'm gonna sneak over to the other side of them. Draw their attention. And then run like hell. Now, assuming I don't get eaten, you go plunder the nests. That's your plan? You're madder than I thought. Shh. I thought it before in Sumatra. It's easy. I've heard that line before. Oh, ye of little faith. Wait here, Mr. Morgan.
Let's start taking us back to the dock. Excellent. That's what I call teamwork. I don't think I've ever seen you move that fast. People pay a lot of money for those eggs. I'm told there's a collector in San Denis who gives top dollar for them. For millinery, of all things. Yeah, because who doesn't want a hat with an egg on it? Well, this has been very pleasant. Very pleasant indeed. That was fun. Uh, I must get out more. Is that your idea of fun, is it? <sighs> oh, wait. thank you. Here, have some crawfish. I'll give you some of those eggs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe you could hatch that. Get yourself a new friend. There's a thought. A new reptilian best buddy. To replace Mike, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs>